The canine flu is now rapidly spreading in Southern California. An expert tells uh, experts tell us it's only a matter of time before this virus moves into the Bay Area. Roughly 800 confirmed and suspected cases are reported. Seven dogs have died. In tonight's original report, Julia Goodrich on what you need to know. The canine flu can be highly contagious and it's often misdiagnosed. And that's what happened to a Southern California family. Their dog almost died and they wanted to share their story. Brian Lasher always wanted a puppy. The pandemic was the perfect time to get one. An adorable golden retriever named Blue. Blue's just like a member of the family. Uh, we got him during COVID, so it was obviously a very stressful time. I was working from home. My kids weren't going to school and Blue brought us all together. He's very, very lovable, very spirited. He's my son's dog. When this whole incident happened, Blue was a puppy. When restrictions eased up, the family took a trip and boarded Blue for a few days. But when Brian picked up the 10 month old puppy, something was off. He was very lethargic. We initially thought it was because he was he just had so much fun and he was playing all day with all of the um, with all of his other little friends. Once home, Blue refused to eat or drink. Then two in the morning, we heard Blue have this atrocious cough. Uh, it sounded like he was dying. The puppy was clearly in distress. So my son wrapped him up to take him to urgent care. Blue was misdiagnosed with kennel cough and sent home with antibiotics. <laughs> His condition captured on an iPhone worsened by evening. Wouldn't acknowledge any of us walking in the room, petting him. And he couldn't even go in his doggy bed. All he could do was stay on the floor. The saying is sick as a dog was extremely fitting. Uh, he was basically lifeless. His vets ran tests and Blue was finally diagnosed with the canine flu, known as H3N2. I had no idea that canine influenza existed. I obviously knew about COVID and the dangers that that had. With the current outbreak, most of the cases are associated with boarding kennels or doggy daycares. But some dogs got infected while on walks at dog parks, the groomers, or even at the vets. It spreads when dogs get into close contact with each other. I would be very surprised if it doesn't come to the Bay Area. To me, it's just a matter of time. Dr. Nicolette Sarde is the hospital medical director for the San Francisco SPCA. This this is a vaccine preventable disease. The canine flu vaccine. It requires an initial two doses given about three weeks apart, then once a year after that. You're okay, huh? SPCA yeah, pharmacy out. supervisor Edward Valacio got his two dogs vaccinated. First, 11 year old Tempe. It's okay, kiddo. Then 10 year old Kay. I'm not a family. Okay. I would be very sad and depressed if anything happened to them. The pandemic lockdown delayed many dog owners from getting their dogs boosted. <laughs> While no vaccine is 100% effective, the more dogs vaccinated, the lower the risk for all. SFSPCA Director Dr. Jennifer Scarlett. I would highly recommend doing it, even if your boarding facility doesn't recommend it. As for Blue, he is completely recovered. Brian has this advice for viewers. It would be prudent of you to get your animal vaccinated um, and become aware of canine influenza. Signs of a dog flu include runny nose, cough, and a fever, but some dogs show no symptoms at all. In Alameda County, Juliet Goodrich, KPIX 5. They do think this strain of canine flu started in birds and jumped to dogs. It first emerged in the U.S. in 2015. Now, there is no evidence that humans become sick with canine flu, but there have been some cases where cats have also gotten ill. Mm -hmm.